Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So this is actually a compilation of all the treatises and chants I've gotten in the last three weeks. Uh, the reason for the delay, usually I have one of these videos out every two weeks just to kind of, uh, of course, clear some memory off my device, as well as just kind of keep you guys updated as to the progress of my account. And the reason for that, of course, is that there have been a lot of uh, updates within the last few weeks. Of course, the Goddess of Time Part 3, uh, the Twist, as well as uh, Part 3 and Four of the Mythos side quest. So I've been uh, very busy, um, you know, creating content for you guys, and hopefully you guys have watched some, if not all, of those videos. In this case, uh, at this point, I am actually moving on from grinding in, um, I guess, uh, Snake Liver Damaku. Although some of these earlier videos will show that I was actually grinding in there, and you'll see a little bit later why. Um, I was actually still targeting some of the tomes, and let's be honest, uh, Gilna is still a very effective shadow battery, one of the two great free ones, I mean Garyu being the other one, and my goal actually is to grind out 360 shadow between the two of them and allow my uh, Garylia future team to be a lot more varied. So I would bring Garyu with Manifest for example, and Gilna, uh, both for the distortion which really helps against level 90 and level 100 horrors. So uh, if you are having trouble surviving some of the attacks from those, uh, I do find that Gilna's power down is very very useful if you have any or other debuffers of course that would work really well. Now you can see that I've been grinding the future Garylia and uh, you know this second uh, AS Sakia treatise is very very welcome. I'm hoping to eventually grind all five of these. I won't be buying any more treatises from the shop being that since I buy max red and green keys every week, um, those severe gems are quite hard to come by. I'm only able to save you know like 20 a week out of the 120 we earn. And in this case the Magna Rex treatise allows me to finally get that VC Grasta for AS Claude. Now for those who don't know, um, some tr uh, VC grasses actually enhance the level 3 VC not only by the number of turns the effect stands for, but also some additional uh, percentages in terms of helping you do more damage or you know more power to itself, and AS Claude is one of those few. So if you can get the VC Grasta for him, it is very very good. I believe AS Foreign is another one that does that as well. Of course, not only do we get some of the good treatises, we still get some of the, shall I say, not so good ones such as the Proud Beast treaties or even the Sky Sprite treaties. I mean, it's really unfortunate that, um, you know, people like AS Lokito and AS Runa aren't quite as good as they were when they first came out. I will hope that uh, soon, and I will say that WFS does have a very good history of doing so, really some of the newer manifests for these ASs. I know that um, they're trying to go in order and of course uh, you know, Iska AS1 that they don't have yet, but a lot of the um, mid-level characters are getting um, manifest weapons and I'm hoping some of those newer ASs also get them as well. Now you can see that I was actually the 139 shadow and at the 140 is another um, break where that if you get to that point you do get extra stats in the case of Gildna, extra 20 endurance probably isn't the most useful I mean at the end of the day we are using him more for DPS and of course the fact that when all his comrades die around him he can really lay an intense super attack calamity once he builds up enough of those uh, stacks on him so um, you know if you are using a free uh, strategy to try to kill off some of those super bosses, he is very very good and if you put one of those hold ground badges which you can get from the Tales of or even upgrade one of your existing grasses using the hold ground, um, you know, I guess the, there's some dormant, uh, there's some ores that you can farm in future gear related to do so, you can really enhance your team so that you're, you know, he can survive, let everyone die, and then he'll do that super super attack um, for uh, massive amounts of fire slash. Now you can see that the 175 shadow is the next breakdown for his stats. In the case of the Melodivus tree uh, at the as of the end of this video, I will have all five Melodivus treatises, and so I will have the ability to uh, upgrade my four star seal to a five star AS. I actually never got around to completely upgrading seal to a five star from his four and a half, and the reason why is. Now, when I was doing his other tail seal, I actually did finish uh, all the chapters of it. However, as soon as I finished it, there was a new update. I can't remember which one exactly, and you can leave some comments below if you remember which one. But it ended up using all my red and green keys, and so um, 
even at this point, I find it more useful to grind shadow and light and obviously, um, you know, treatises and chants rather than go farm out those um, uh, seal uh, psalms, I guess, melodious psalms to uh, upgrade him to a 5 star. And besides, the AS form is so much superior than the 5 star form, I figured at this point, unless I really want the stat boost on the AS, I'm going to just put it off for now and hopefully in the future, I'll have some spare red keys and maybe, you know, uh, once we catch up to Pan, though, give us some free red keys in order to, uh, you know, burn there. But for most of us, we still have a lot of projects to do with our red keys. I mean, uh, even nowadays, you can alternate between uh, farming, for example, for Gilna or the fan favorite, which is our our boy Aldo. Um, I know that Amy is not as useful to farm nowadays, and um, yeah, even for myself, if you are relatively new to the game or even in the mid game. I would probably suggest farming um, for light straw boy, of course, once you get to Garalia. Um, but certainly, Aldo is still very, very useful. And let's be honest, we're hoping that the devs eventually gives us a super massive boost in damage, kind of similar to um, Gildna, where he is actually very, very viable in a lot of situations. I find that Aldo really isn't much use nowadays in terms of DPS, although he still does have that non-elemental slash resist down up to 50% stackable. But it takes a lot of turns to kind of stack it and um, we have other units that can apply 30 to 50 percent slash resistance down so even his two times um you know fire slash aoe really the multiplier damage on that is relatively low and so you know you're much better off uh using other characters to do your dps but still he's our boy aldo i'm still uh slowly farming his light and actually i believe that i'm at 190 light for those who are interested so um, still a ways off uh, from the 215, which is the next stat boost, and then finally, of course, the 255. In the case of the Punishment Treaties, um, I am still looking to eventually acquire my first Molina. I know that Japan does have an ES version, and it looks extremely powerful. So, um, being that I have zero forms of Molina, when that banner comes out, I'm well, I hope to off banner a Molina to be honest, or maybe from one of the upcoming Whispers of Time or Sprinkles Assault. But if not, I'll probably have to spend a few thousand stones there in order to hopefully get one of the forms of Melissa or, I mean, I mean Molina. Or, if I'm extremely lucky, to just hit ES Molina directly and not have to farm any of the materials to get that. And you can see another Punishment Treaties absolutely no use uh, for my own situation being that I have no form of her. So, um, you know, let me know in the comments below also if you've been fortunate with your treaties drops or chat drops or um, not much luck in that sense. I do find that now that I'm actually not doing Antiquity Garalia and I'm doing Future Garalia, I do find that the chat script drop rate is much lower overall than um, going to the Antiquity Garalia. And the reason I feel that is the case is when you go to Antiquity Garalia, I can skip all the areas that have sparkles and concentrate on the areas that have chests. And if you can get at least two, if not three out of three areas, you really do stack up your odds of getting an extra chant or two every month. In this case, we're relying on the red keys to give us chants, uh, which is about one every 15 days if you run all your red keys. And you can see I did get one chant in the last three weeks so far. Um, didn't get any other chance, and that was from a red key. Um, apparently, there is a good chance of getting a chance script when you are running those satellite stadium, uh, I guess, keys, which is 30 tickets, uh, I guess, 30 ores to buy one of those tickets to travel over there. But the problem is, you really do have to do essentially five, well, four to five runs in order to buy the 30 tickets. And even at that point, it's only a 10% drop rate in that final chest before the boss. So I'm finding that um, my chance script rate is lower uh, by far when I'm running future Garalia. So hopefully that changes um, literally in the near future. And of course, what would really help is if, if any one of us, either yourself or me, would get one of those, uh, you know, uh, very rare uh, PCD Phantom Crystal Dimension White Gate Key Clears, in which case we'll get three chance automatically and uh, treaties selector of our choice. In my case, now that I have OG Rosetta, I'm probably going to either select the first uh, OG, I guess, AS Rosetta Treaties, or maybe perhaps my third AS Sukiya Treaties, and then decide what I want to do uh, from that point. Another Mika Hayashi Treaties. Really should get around to side grading some of these units, but um, 
as you know, um, you know, even for myself saving up so many chance scripts, there's a lot of different units I still have to target. Even the Aqua Goddess Treaties, and I now do finally have a four and a half uh, Yuna. It'd be great to upgrade or side grade her. However, I mean, if I do do that, I might run out of chance when I eventually try to upgrade or side grade ASU in the future. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.